Greetings, Skill Incarnate bringing you all the latest indie gaming goodness. Welcome back as we look at another indie game. This time we're checking out Sand, a superfluous game. This was developed and published by Voided Pixel Studios and is a Wild West themed survival base building game. Think Minecraft meets Rimworld. Now, if that didn't interest me enough, the developers also included some of the development tools they used to build the game, which really piqued my interest. We're going to have a look at the first part of the campaign, and I'm going to let you know what my thoughts are. Let's have a look at Sand. You open your eyes. Still alive, you say out loud, half relieved, half disappointed. There's no one around to hear you. There is rarely. The world as you know it has always been this way, a dry and unforgiving land that asks nothing and gives even less. There are stories, fairy tales really, that tell of better times, times of plenty and green, but those are just stories. Or are they? The past doesn't matter now, only the present. You suppose it doesn't ma matter much either. The sand doesn't care about my feelings. You began today like you did any other day, walking. You learned a long time ago a very important lesson. Those that stay still in the desert disappear. You've seen too many towns just disappear overnight. Some by raiders and some by the dead reclaiming what used to be theirs. Sometimes it's just the sand coming faster than they can dig. You dream at night of a place to call your own. A place where you can make friends and start a family. Those are just dreams though. The sand doesn't care about my dreams. Friends and family, what does that even mean? They're just words you heard somewhere. Comforting words, you think, but just words. The sand just doesn't care. It's early morning. You feel the ground rumble. Sandworms, you say, resolute in your fate. Oh, I wonder if we're on Arrakis. Well, I had a good run. You wait, but the sand doesn't claim you. You see a cloud of smoke to the north. You've got nothing better to do. Curiosity always gets you in trouble or feeds you for the day. Hungry, you start walking towards the smoke. You arrive at a small homestead. What looks like a giant fireball has carved a gash into the landscape. It landed in the middle of the only building in sight. No signs of life are present. Luck of the desert, you chuckle to yourself, knowing full well it's as rare as water. Movement. You see something coming towards you. You think people call them dogs. Can you eat them? You continue to move forward. You best not be eating that dog. So here we are at the start of the game. With nothing but our new puppy friend and a ruined homestead. It looks like something very big, very heavy and made of metal has landed right in the middle. So we're going to talk to our new friend here I'm still functioning hey you a little help here what's going on the other guy isn't talking to me I can only assume he's just a jerk pretty sure he's dead did you kill him why don't you clear out this debris collect some wood and come back I have to run the diagnostic so a new friend has landed right in the middle of this building and in an extreme display of uh, luck for us and bad luck for the previous owner, we have to clear this place out and we have to talk to a new friend. Now, this little homestead here has been completely, completely wrecked by our friend landing in the center of it. So we're just going to go and gather some wood, the debris of the house, and try and start doing a repair effort we need, we need a little bit more wood here we go here we go nice the place looks a lot better time to answer some questions got it sure tiny human sure but first all the sand is gunking up my circuits do you mind building a few walls to stop it I'd like to ask the other guy, but, you know, I kind of flattened him. Fine, how do I build? Okay, so we know how to build. We just have to use the build button, and we can cycle between the Q and E keys to get to the different, um, the different menus. So, 
he doesn't like being he doesn't like being exposed to the elements, so we're just gonna start with a few walls. Using the the wood that we that we gathered from the ground, we're also going to build some floors, because we're gonna wanna put down some we're gonna wanna put down some crates for storage and some crafting benches, all that good stuff. Beautiful. Wonderful. You can call me Earth's Defense versus imp Impending Extermination, or Eddie for short. And before you say anything, I know I apparently haven't done a good job. After the moon imploded, so to totally sorta not my fault. I was stuck orbiting the Earth for 300 years. Wow. And more on that later. You look a little beat up yourself. Why don't you go collect some water from that water well at front? There's some cactuses around here too. Come back when you've got enough. Oh here, you can have my little friend. He's very helpful, though not as pleasant as me. He's also He'll also make sure you don't run away. I mean, get hurt. So we've got a little bit of a GLaDOS sort of relationship going on with our new friend. Uh, our goal is to basically survive and hopefully get this place up and running again. Thankfully, if we're smart, there's a lot of resources that we can use. But most of the stuff we're going to need in the way of supplies, we're going to have to find ourselves. Beautiful. We've got enough water. We can go back to our friend here. We need to make some food. I don't want my new slave, a uh, friend, dying on me. We need to gather some seeds. Look for some grass around this place. There has to be some somewhere. Okay, so we're going to go... Here we go. Will we chop the grass get some seeds we can also get them from tumbleweeds you can see these tumbleweeds kind of just uh, moving around and they are going to be a really good source of wood for us they tend to pop around during storms but they're just free resources they sometimes also contain random random items like seeds that we're going to need so you always want to try and destroy these when you see them rolling across the screen because free wood uh, cactuses we're going to want as well. well. We'll go get more cactus later. I think for now we have um, we have more than enough seeds to be able to start a farm. So we're going to head back to our friend. And <laughs> that was fast, not really. You're going to have to work hard, harder if you're going to be my minion. Plant those crops. They take a while to grow, so how about we build some more stuff? You need some more wood crates. If you plan on sorting stuff, don't worry, I'll manage all the sorting and labelling. And you thought I was just going to boss you around. Among other things. So we'll plant our seeds. Now I can only plant a few crops here, which is uh, not ideal. But for now, we're going to you know, gather as much water as we can. Now these wells, along with most of the other things in the game, will regenerate resources over time. So you want to keep going back to these, and we're also going to be able to build additional wells, and also start our own uh, our own cactus farm, eventually. So uh, let's build some crates. Now the building the building system in this game very very intuitive, very easy to use. The developers done a fantastic job of just making a, an easy to understand system. Anyone who has even the most basic knowledge of of survival games gonna be right at home here crates store dry goods and barrels store wet goods if you run out of space just build more let me tell you about my plan for you we're going to save the human race daunting i know but i think we're up for the challenge i think the best way to do that is we'll talk more about that later if i told you now your pea brain might explode and it might take years for me to find another person to help me First, you'll probably want to start a little wood farm going. Build a few saplings by gathering acorns from old trees and build them using nuts and water. Chop chop, the world isn't going to save itself. So here is where we will find these dead trees and we're going to start cutting them down. Now, you don't really need any tools in the game, which was an odd choice, but it's not really a big deal. I, I'd, I'd like to hope that he's not just punching the tree until it goes down, but let's get all these tumbleweeds. 
you'll you'll often have these these storms that rock up during during the day and sometimes during the night and the storms can get quite nasty and when you're stuck out in the in the wilderness you, you can you can get killed by them so we're going to try and gather as much resources as we can because I really really want to really really want to get a, a nice sized tree farm going we'll gather this metal as well now the game has a XP system as well so as we're just wandering around gathering resources we're getting XP and that is going to be very, very useful for us. Because we want to try and unlock the unlock some of the items and weapons as early as possible. We have a, a very a, a very small selection of weapons and items to build at the beginning, and you have to unlock them all by by finding using your XP to purchase upgrades, and the you know it's, it's a pretty big skill tree. We're getting tons and tons of wood here, and more importantly, tons of XP. Okay, I think that's about it. I think that's all we've got for now. I'm going to try and get all of these tumbleweeds if you can, because the tumbleweeds contain not only wood, but seeds as well. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to drop some seeds into our farm. Resources production, there we go. So first thing we want to get is a farm going for our trees, which we'll do here. Uh, nothing too big at the moment, but just um, just for now, we'll, we'll keep it small, we'll keep it focused, maybe... Maybe a dozen trees. We need lots of water for that. So let's get, yep, lots of water. I'd like about a dozen. Oh, we're out of water again. Ah, oh, come back, tumbleweed. And they break after a while, so you want to try and gather them while you can. It's just free wood. And, and in some cases, free seeds. Beautiful. Okay, so we've got plenty of nuts. And and you can sell resources too. We can sell if we... Oh, there we go. i got some meat. There's some meat inside the tumbleweed. Nice. So you get random stuff. Okay, let's go talk to our friend. This area is a pretty good area to grow crops and get water. There isn't much else to find. You'll need to do some trading. Build and a sell booth to sell your goods, and a buy booth to purchase any goods you need. An easy way to make money is by growing crops or trees and selling off what you produce, and maybe looking into raising chickens. Build at least two sell booths and set it up to sell all your extra veggies. Traders will visit your stalls to sell and buy goods, a bigger town will attract more traders. So not only can we build the homestead, we can also build a eventually our own bustling little, little town, a, a country town, a wild west town on the on the the front lines. Uh, we we're still waiting for our plants to grow. Unfortunately, once they're finished growing, though, I'll be able to harvest them and we'll be able to make some food. Now, food in this game is your primary source of healing. I uh, can't do anything with that yet. Okay, so we we'll, let's go get some more water. Beautiful. Okay, next thing we want to do is build a trading stall. Right here. And we build two. And we're going to set these. Oh, I don't want to sell meat. I want to sell wood. There we go. And we're leaving stuff below 
the oops let's um I, I don't really have anything else to to sell right now whoops come back to the little tumbleweed got plenty of wood there we go and people will come and grab that and they'll give me money yeah yeah, yeah. crops have grown nice Okay, excellent. And we've got we, we managed to pick up a few extra seeds which we've used to get an extra farming plot going. So we've got four plots now. Um, and I really would like to get a cactus farm too. There here's some metal for you. Let's look at trying to defend yourself. You're pretty safe right now in your base, but the bigger you get, the more likely people will notice and try and take what you have. Go ahead and build a weapon and workbench and make yourself something to defend your hard-earned loot. Might be a good time to explore. Leave your base and find a nice, quiet place. I'm assuming that's a, a typo to look for resources. You might not have a weapon yet, so be careful. Okay. And we can also sprint. You can see, I can always see you. Come back after you get a weapon and explore some. So we're going to craft ourselves a weapon workbench, which is going to let us make a weapon. Beautiful. And we're going to want to make a... So we have a choice of a bat or a pipe. Higher damage than the bat, but lower knockback. Oh, that actually... No, let's keep it simple. We're going to go with the bat. Because I think the knockback's going to be something we're going to want. Beautiful. Okay, so now we've got a little bit of a farm going. Um, we can talk to our friend and we can hopefully... Watch it, boss. That looks dangerous. You might poke your eye out. Let's plant some cotton trees. You'll need some pods and some nuts. You need to unlock cotton trees from my upgrade menu. Press Q when near me to access it. If you haven't done so already, take the broom in the corner and dust the sand off my console. Why would I need a cotton tree? To make cloth for beds. Just trust me, here is some stuff I found jammed in my circuits. It's like I hit a house full of stuff on the way down. Well, yes you did. And a person. Really? That guy from earlier? Oh, he looked fine to me. Oh yeah, with the with the back of his head caved in, he, he's fine. He's he, He'll just, he'll walk that off. He'll be right. <laughs> Alright, uh, so we've got a bit of XP now. And we can use that XP to... Builds a cotton farm. Beautiful. So the upgrade system uses XP, and the only way we're going to get XP is to go out and explore. But one of the the mistakes that I made in the last time I played this was to I, I rushed out there. I rushed out, and it's a, a very silly mistake to make because. You are very squishy in the game, and you will die very quickly if you don't know what you're doing. Um, oh, look, these guys—they're selling. We're making—we're making some cash. We—we we got some cash coming in from all the wood that we're selling because we're getting heaps. Look at all this wood. For now, though, I'm gonna wander around and we're gonna gather some cacti. Because in the early game, you really, really want to avoid going out until you're you're in a very good, very good shape. And for us, right now, our main concern is being able to heal ourselves. And the only way we can do that is with food. So the, the more seeds we find, the bigger we expand our farm, the more food we can take with us. And that means we can go on longer expeditions and gather more resources. I think we've... I think we kind of hit all the stuff we can. Um, I... Yeah. No, that's it for now. That's alright. So what we'll do is we're going to build ourselves the cotton trees, as um, our friend suggested. 
I might build them down here because I imagine my tree farm's going to get pretty big. Three we'll have to do, and we're going to get some baby cactuses as well. These, of course, are an invaluable source of water. So I'm going to try and build as many of these as I can. There we go. Not too bad, not too bad. So let's see if I can build some more trees, because I did, did find some extra nuts. Nice, nice. So we're pretty, we're pretty well self-sufficient right now, and I'm getting a ton of wood. A ton of water, and our next crop is just about ready to harvest. So let's craft a roasted vegetable. And we're going to craft as many of these as we can, because this is our healing item, so we're going to want lots. We should be able to make at least two or three. I can't, no, I can't carry any more. That's okay. Grab some more water. Looking good, looking good. So we've got we got a ton of a ton of wood, and we can probably drop some more off. There we go. And sell some more. Eventually, we'll be able to use that money that we're earning from selling the wood to buy more advanced resources. Oh, look, our trees are done. Beautiful. So we're, we're going to drop more trees down. Wood, of course, I mean, once I, I kind of get into the green, I'll be able to start using some of that to fix the house. But right now I'm using wood as a as a way to get uh, uh, us some more money. Because we're going to need, we need lots and lots of cash. There we go. So we've got some water. Yeah, we're looking good. Oh, nice. We've got a fresh batch of veggies. Very good. Very good. Nice. So we're slowly expanding our farm. Nice to meet you. I was wondering if I could talk to you. My pa sent me here for some help. If you have some time, I'd like to offer you a job. Our farm is a little up and over to the right from your, yours. Now, normally I would go and do that quest, but it's actually not a good idea because it's very, very dangerous out in the world. And I found this out the hard way. Uh, undead are probably one of, I mean, apart from other hostile humans, are probably one of the most dangerous enemies you're going to run into. Um, and with me and my little tiny bat, I think we're going to just, we're going to take baby steps. So right now, my main goal is to go out and get some experience and to get some more resources to expand my base. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So the farm is over here, but we're just we're going to pop over here just for now. And we're going to search the area, just see what I can find. Now the desert is a very dangerous place. We can find all sorts of nasty stuff. And sometimes you may have to do a runner. You might end up with a bunch of enemies that you just can't handle. But for now, oh, we've got a spear wielding enemy. And he's got a better weapon than me. So, oh, damn, that hurts. Okay, oh, yeah, that hurt. That hurt. So let's, um, let's let my health come back a little bit. 
Oh, got him. Nice. Very nice. Now, I'm hoping these guys don't have bows. Oh, damn. They're very tough. I'm getting a ton of XP if I can pull this off, though. Oh, very nice. Excellent. Oh, scrap and leather and cloth. Okay, this is resources that are very, very valuable. But as you can see, I, I don't have a lot of healing supplies. So we just gather what we can. And we may have to come back once I once I get some more. Oh, okay, yeah, we're... I don't know if I can take, take on... Okay, he's got a bow. Oh, there we go. Split him off by himself. There we go. Now it's a now it's a fair fight. Oh, can I eat more? Ouchies. Oh, I'm nearly dead. So as you can see at the start of the game, very, very squishy. Basic weapons. Probably not a good idea to be... And we've got a bit of a storm going, so we might... I might just adjust my... Adjust my approach and... Oh, there we go. My health's nearly come back. I do have more food, so I think these guys will heal over time. Ah, oh, there we go, one-on-one -on -one now. Ouchies. Oh. So these guys, are they're, they're rocking like iron swords and spears, and I've only got like a little baseball bat. So they're doing, we're doing a ton of, when we're not doing a ton of damage, and these guys are obviously undead, so they're just going to eat up any attack. But if I can kill them, I'm getting a ton of resources. And one on one, they're not too bad. It's just when you're having to fight them, fight groups of them. And I've got nearly a hundred. Oh, we got a we got an archer here. So let's um, let's just move away. We can see if we can trick him into getting in close. He yeah, got you now. Nice. Oh yeah, that's too many. Okay, so this 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 might be a little bit tougher than what I can take on right now. Let's we'll see how we go. I mean, I I managed to. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, three on one. Yeah. I have got a death wish, and we, we've got a bit of a storm rolling. Oh wow, okay, yeah, this is this is bad. <laughs> this is very bad. I think it's yeah. It, it's okay. I can get away. It's it. The the storms don't tend to affect these guys too much. Oh, look at them all. Oh yeah. Okay. Methinks I am very outmatched right now. We we'll head down this way. If I can just like get them one at a time, they're not too hard to take out, but. Even two at a time, I could probably do. Okay, so I uh, it, it, it is all random generated levels, so you will end up in some encounters that will just be really, really easy, and others are gonna you're really gonna struggle. Oh, we might be able to do this. Oh, I got a spear too. Very nice. I have excellent new weapon unlocked. Let's give that a go. Excellent. So normally you have to unlock these weapons manually. 
but because we've actually found one, I think we've actually we've skipped the XP cost to have to have to learn to build it. If you find a new weapon in the wild, you will automatically get the ability to build that weapon. Oh, there's some meat in here. I mean, this is it's a very dangerous area where we are, but we I'm getting a ton of resources from doing this. And now it's an even fight. Because I have a spear too. Oh wow, that's night and day. Okay. Very nice. And we're getting so much stuff from this. So we've got grass seeds. Ouch. Oh yeah, one-shotting. It goes to show the weapons they've got far more powerful than mine. But on that note, I'm pretty banged up. I think I might just take what I can and we'll we'll um we'll head on out of here. Yeah, one more hit and I'm dead, so. Let's um let's bang down some food. We've got some dirt. And I'll grab this cactus and we, we gonna we're gonna get the hell out of dodge because I am on my last healing supplies and you can get attacked ra at random out in the desert so let's get out while we can we, we done pretty well we'll head back home now what we did do is by surviving that terrible fight we've got a fantastic new weapon that i believe we can now craft without having to let's see i yes we have excellent so we can now make spears permanently i don't have to unlock it in the crafting menu so what we can do here now is go to the upgrade and use some of our hard-earned experience to maybe make ourselves some yep there we go spear so i can buy a torch a pipe and the almighty bow excellent as you know i love the bow so let's get ourselves a new weapon sorted next weapon arrows retrieval oh yes you know we're building that Now, how do I make arrows? That's the question. Torch, bat, pipe, spear, bow. Let me just see if I can... Oh, okay, so you have to, you have to build another bow. To get more arrows. That's okay. And now we can increase our farm. It's a good thing we came back to. We're out of water. Got stuck out in the wilderness without anything to drink. That's a death sentence. Beautiful. Beautiful. So we can, we've got a ton of wood, so we'll we'll get some of that selling. And we'll finish harvesting our trees. And we've even got some more valuable resources. We've got leather, we've got, we got some cloth. Oh, we've got some plastic. Very nice. Mainly what gets you stuck out in the wilderness is when you, you run out of out of water or out of food. And at the moment, because we're we're so low on on water and food, I um I just have to stay close to home, not wander too far, and make sure that we're um that we're getting everything we can and the farm is constantly going. So now we can we can harvest these cacti. And that's a ton of water.
look at all that water lovely that solved our water problems for now so we're going to i'm going to build some more cactuses best believe we're having a big cactus farm And I'm going to also try and build some more um, more of the cotton. Because we've only got a few cotton trees. But for now, I'm not too worried about cloth. It's mainly wood. Wood, food, and water. There we go. And let's build some more trees. We definitely want trees. Because we can sell the wood. And we're using all the water we got from harvesting those cactuses. We're pumping that into being able to make more. More trees, more wood. Grab all these tumbleweeds, just free wood. And, oh, there we go. We're at, we're at max wood. So let's um, add some of those. So you do have max resources, so let's get some of these resources. Here we go. Whoops, that, that might have been... I might have overdone it. Let's, um, let's maybe reduce that a little bit. I probably want some wood on me. There we go, 30. Wood's very easy to get, as you can see. It's just just everywhere with these tumbleweeds. We're going to need a lot to cook, though. Beautiful. So now we've gotten we've gotten our farm. We've gotten our our trees replanted. Going to finish that now. And I'm pretty happy with where we're at. We had a very, very tough fight against the against a group of the undead. And we managed to come out on top. And we managed to get ourselves a brand new weapon. And we've also got a really, really... The start of, of what is a, a very sizable farm. Here we go. We're out of seeds. Beautiful. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of cooking. And this will let us go back out into the wild and we'll be able to go on another a journey and gather some some more resources to continue expanding our base but as for now i think we're going to leave it at that i've really been enjoying playing this game and i would love to do a follow-up episode so if you like what you saw today leave me a like leave me a subscribe and hopefully you'll join me next time when we look at another indie game until then skill incarnate out <laughs>